hour is late. The time is nigh. The day is growing short. Oh. Metaphors for the 2018 baseball season reaching its sunset this weekend. One more series before the sun goes down on the 2018 campaign. And a pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to City Field. Gary Cohen, Keith Hernandez, Ron Darling with you tonight. We are at the City Pavilion just above the Mets bullpen in right center field, broadcasting Al Fresco tonight. This is also a special night for another reason. For the first time since May of 2016, David Wright is likely to appear in a Major League Baseball game. I can't even imagine what his emotions are like as he prepares to pinch hit tonight. Well, it's been two and a half years since he's been on the field and had an at bat, and all the hard work that he's put in to get to this point. I know he's got his big day tomorrow where he's going to start the game, but I got to believe inside he's kind of bubbling up a little bit. A little got to be a little nervous. Uh, Mickey Calloway says he's going to be his first pinch hitter off the bench and boy that makes it even more difficult two and a half years and you're going to pinch hit. So it'll be very interesting to see how David performs and then he'll have a full day or at least a part of a full day of play tomorrow his final time on the field. Corey Oswald appears to be done and what that means is that if his spot comes up here in the fourth inning we could well see our first glimpse of David Wright. So one out and one on. And now Frazier who walked his first time up and David's in the hole and he looks as nervous as if he was a rookie. That's right. What's going through his mind right now. I mean it's the unknown. Is, is he, is he going to get a bat or, or not. 0 and one to Frazier. And it's popped up. And Castro takes care of it for the second out. And now Pulecki's coming up and David Wright Kevin is coming out Pulecki. on deck. And most of the crowd getting to see him for the first time and rise into their feet at the side of the captain. Well, this is great. He's windmilling the bat around in the on deck circle and Wayne. Kevin plowicki has got free reign to do whatever he wants here. Nobody's going to be watching. <laughs> well, in order for David to get a turn of bat here in the fourth, plowicki has got to get on. David has said one of the reasons he wanted to come back and play was so that his two young daughters who were not alive the last time that he played in a major league baseball game could witness their daddy playing big league baseball. Lecky grounds one toward the hole but backhanded in the hole by Rojas and they get the force play to end the inning and so David's at bat is going to have to wait at least for a while. Well it'll it'll set the stage next inning. And David Wright is about to make his first major league appearance since May of 2016. Two and a half years of rehab. Spinal stenosis neck surgery shoulder surgery hours and days and months of rehab all for this moment and the moments tomorrow you know we were talking before about being anxious in the World Series I was just thinking that David probably hasn't been this nervous getting loose for an at bat since his first at bat in 2004. Been 855 days since David's last big league play appearance. May 27, 2016. He homered in that game. In fact, he homered in each of his last three games before he finally had to pack it in. And now he's back. Now pinch hitting for the Mets. The captain, number five, David Wright.
first pitch on the ground. Snagged by Anderson. Low throw handled by O'Brien. And White is retired. Well, he didn't waste any time. He went right after that first pitch. And appropriately, Jose Reyes, the first to greet him at the top step of the dugout. He'll get a full day tomorrow, or more full day. But this was the first notch for David Wright in his farewell performance. And his wife, Molly, and his daughter, Olivia, on hand to watch. You know what? That should make him feel pretty good going into tomorrow. He went right up there hacking. So he put it in play. He feels like a baseball player again. He's got a big smile shaking his head in the dugout. And uh, the adrenaline will ooze out. But it's going to build back all over again. More to come. Tomorrow's a big day. It, it really was amazing. Uh, in a way, and I told Plaw this afterwards, I was like, man... I think I needed another inning, so I was like, I'm kind of glad you got out. You know, I hate to be a bad teammate right there, but um, that first time on deck was, uh, you know, something special. I, I really felt um, butterflies that I'd never felt before. Um, I think I was pretty close to throwing up on deck. I know I dropped my bat, and I never, you know, just let the bat fly. I had to walk a couple steps and pick the bat back up. But the, the fan support, I mean, was... Uh, it really was overwhelming, you know, first like, coming out of the dugout and just hearing, um, you know, the fans and everything. And it was uh, something that certainly I'll always remember.